Hi guys, hope you're having a blessed, wonderful day in the Lord Jesus today. So we have another video. I'm blessed that you are back here again with me. I'm Crystal Over Jesus here. I share rapture dreams and visions, tribulation dreams, and mark of the beast, all the end time stuff that Jesus said was going to happen in the end times. He said that he was going to pour out his spirit on all flesh and his sons and daughters shall prophesy. His young men shall see visions, his old men shall dream dreams. And on his main servants, they shall prophesy. So this is what we are experiencing. This is what we are doing here. Um, you can check out my shorts, YouTube shorts, um, the rest of my videos. There's so many of these coming in, you guys. Um, this is a video that was emailed to me. They sent me the link. Um, this is Mandashti of God. You can check out the channel. It'll be in the description box below for you to find and uh, yeah, so he had a rapture dream on September, October, September to October in 2021. So we're going to go ahead and watch this and see what he experienced. All right. If you want to send in your dream or vision, send it to shareforcrystal.gmail.com. Okay. All right. Let's get into this. Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to my channel, Majesty of God. I decide today to tell you about my dream about rapture I have. I have it in 2021 between September and October and in this dream I was seeing a small bus that came before me and I see no country or anything around me just some sort of light and this bus was white and has blue stripes on the side this bus was small like this Volkswagen Wenz and but this was it was a little bigger than this this small Volkswagen around for 20 people the doors was in the middle there were also doors in the front but there was not for entrance this, this was only for the drivers and I sense that there are that there are uh, two maybe angels who are driving this vehicle. Mm. But I was first who was ready to enter into the, this bus for really 20 people. <laughs> and when I try to step in, this woman appear before me and she was black she was she has a full face and she was dressed in this linen robe that was covering her whole body and i saw only the face and she mm. says um i am an heavenly whore and I said, really? Then prove it to me. <laughs> Say it to my left ear. And I moved my head to her lips and was ready to listen what she will say if she will say something. And in this moment, she said, Tada! And this Tada was like four different voices. One was deep, one was in the middle, and two was high. And together with these voices, that sing Tada was this trumpet in the background that was sounding like Turu and together with these four voices I heard this and it was so loud that in this dream I I moved my head from her because I, it shocked me <laughs> but in reality I moved from the dream into reality so I moved in in real world my head back so oh wow that tear me out from this dream and it was amazing because there are dreams that are normal but these dreams uh means nothing or are just result of what you saw during the day mm -hmm. but dreams from god are different you know they are from god because they they are really powerful, mm -hmm. not, not, not about nothing, but you remember this dream always. 
you cannot forget these dreams from God. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. It is very important to focus on these dreams and watch some of them and think about them because there are many, many dreams in the world that are showing that God is coming back and that we must prepare uh, before 15 years we heard in the church that God is coming soon that Jesus is coming soon and before 10 years it was the message was he will come very very soon before five years the message was imminent and today when we see what is going on after uh, the pandemic mm -hmm. so we see that we are in the season and the time is so close that it, it is about days maybe yeah months. yeah minutes right maybe months mm -hmm. weeks. who knows yeah so when you have a dream from god you know that it is not only for you it will give you power and you can have joy and you can feel the encouragement of this dream but sometimes it's good also to share these things it is not for keeping them i was keeping keeping this dream two years but i see now that it's important to share it <laughs> uh, that's funny I, I shared this dream i had another channel on youtube which i don't use anymore and in this channel i shared a i don't know if it was dream it was more like out of body experience because in this experience i cannot say it was dream i was in the dark place between stars and god tried to show me authority he tried to show me his authority and i was there only two seconds but these two seconds were so powerful and so overwhelming that i cannot compare with anything in the world or ever what i experienced or you can imagine wow after this experience i try with my mind with my body with all my strength and power get back to this presence it was so powerful i see in this dark place with stars only silhouette of a person and experience the power of authority of god i believe it was jesus but he was it was showed me only this this authority that what he says is 100 percent sent to accomplish his mission not single word will fall just so on the earth right everything he said is real everything will happen anything that is written in the bible is true yep amen so i can tell you that in this presence i felt peace i have no fear but this this authority sometimes you cannot explain it with words this is this is like standing exactly like standing before the king and you know that you must be shut down with your words you must be quiet and what he says is holy he's perfect and powerful and you cannot argue <laughs> you cannot argue with him yeah because you know that it is true what he said no matter in like before the judgment when we will stand before him no matter what he says 
whatever he says is true. You Powerful. Cannot you cannot, this will not work before him. Yes. Yeah. So, wow. And my experience last years is that not only Christians have dreams, but also unbelievers. Right. I have situations when I, after years, I talk with my friend and after we talk to a phone, uh, I pray for him that God show him a dream, show him your mercy, show him who you are, open his heart. And we called again one month after and he decide to reveal me that that night when I prayed for him, he had a dream and he said to me one month after. I will not say what he was uh, dreaming about, maybe next time, but we have, we can ask God to show people uh, him uh, to show them a dream that we can know God. So even uh, you know you don't know who around you can have a dream and be touched, and sometimes they don't know how to explain it. What was the dream about? But when we are close, we can explain them. Right. We can share the gospel, and we can show them the way how to get to Jesus and be saved. Yay, glory to God. I love it. I love this so much. And you guys, be sure that you are praying, you know, for your friends and family and unbelievers, you know, even to receive a dream or something, you know, because um, God always hears. And, you know, we might not always, they might not always tell us that they did experience something, you know, um, and it could still have an impact. They could be too embarrassed to share that they had experienced something. So this is so very encouraging. And I have another video that I watched too, where he had prayed for, I think it was his sister and his sister didn't tell him <laughs> until two years later that she had a dream, you know? So glory to God. There is no time for playing. There's no time for do some when things it's time to be ready prepared and check ourselves every day if we are going the right way because you know there is a broad way or highway that leads to destruction and many are going there even Christians but there is a narrow path and few are those who found it just like in my dream, this bus was small, only for 20 people. So, as it is written in the Bible that as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of coming of the Lord. But many people think that the coming of the Lord is the second coming. But in reality, this, this, this coming that is spoken about is the rapture. So, when, so as, a, as it was in the days of Noah, they was heard that there will be rain because they do not know rain. It was not rain right. in those days. So it was madness to them. Yeah. And these people love to do what they do and do not listen to Noah. Yep. And when the day come, Noah was, was inside with animals, the angel shut the door and it started raining and pouring water from the earth and from the heaven. So it will be even at the coming of the Lord for his church when there will be fire 
and there is also a spiritual ship that will we will be taken up and even now today they are laughing of us because they heard they they see that we are speaking about some kind of rapture that they don't know what it is that is yeah. madness to them mm -hmm. but we know what that means and we will be taken up and they will be surprised by this situation and they will not escape and so will the tribulation start but we will be hidden in the god's house amen for seven years and we will be protected and not judged by the world by the un with the unbelievers it will be time for israel not for the gen not for the uh, church but for the israel right they cannot be together in time when different uh, situation will occur and things will happen so be blessed if you have anything to share share it be brave and pray in jesus name amen amen thank you so much brother for that beautiful message and um learning you know he's just giving you the scriptures he's telling you exactly you know as in the days of noah they were doing what they were doing right now like rain uh they had never known rain it said that back then there was a mist it was like cloud mist dewy that that gave water to everything it was like a dew like a dewy mist that watered everything and so they they thought that noah was insane you know he's building a boat and for what that it's going to rain it's never rained before you know and you look like a madman and it's the same for us right now we look like mad people oh there's the crazy christians again going about their end of the world stuff we we made it to 2012 you know 2012 was supposed to be the end of the world doomsday and all that stuff and like you know that never happened and you know it's like we're saying like jesus is coming come on the rapture is about to happen like you know and there's they're like oh i saw this one comment he's like how do you feel about talking about something that's never ever happened before and i'm like i'm thinking uh i feel great actually you know um yeah i feel good this is something that's gonna happen soon you know people think we're crazy like oh this has never happened before um except that people have been taken to heaven still alive which was enoch and elijah both of those were taken up to heaven without seeing death and they were recorded in the bible so we do have that but this is a massive worldwide event that's about to happen just like at the days of noah it's a massive worldwide event that's about to happen you know flooding the whole world everyone is affected the rapture is going to happen everyone is going to be affected you know but it's going to be different this time because people are going to disappear and chaos is going to ensue so we got to get on board you need to believe in jesus you need to get saved you need to repent of your sins you need to be baptized with the holy spirit and living a life for christ so I love you guys and thank you Alana for subscribing <laughs> um, and uh, if you guys made it to the end of this video please love please leave down below in the comments um, some green hearts and uh, say Noah Noah's days with green hearts and I will see you guys again soon in the next one bye